Russia. Pah. Nothing left there now. Russian peoples. Pah. Fall fucked. More. Make the most of it. His last bottle. No more, not ever. Fuck. He's only vodka I like. All other vodka is piss. See, nothing left. Everything fucked. Once we are the greatest peoples in the world. Now we sit in bars in Brighton Beach or Coney Island. Drinking till vodka runs out. Look. Look at this animal. Leon Rostovich. How the fuck is he let out of prison? Thanks to his kind, everyone looks at Russian peoples and sees only fucking gangsters. You are a stupid old man talking like that in here. Piss on you and piss on him. I am Alexander Banovich, Farmichenko. I am not afraid of some stinking cockroach. Listen, you. Scum like Rostovich and scum who follow him, who shame the name of Mother Russia. Mobster pigs who dare to call themselves soldiers. I was at Leningrad when the Nazis come in 1941. Three years we held them out. Three years before they could relieve us. We were soldiers. Get out of here if you want to stay healthy in this neighborhood. Don't mention Leon Rostovich again. Fuck Leon Rostovich. Got business of my own with Rastovich. Unfinished business. Two days I've been hunting the maggot down here. Then I stop for a sandwich, and a lead falls right into my lap. Before I follow it up, a little community work. Hey! Alexander Baranovich, Formichenko is protected. Okay. Got kind of a thing about respect for the elderly. Hey, old man, stop for a minute. Leave me alone. We need to talk to you. You got a big mouth, you know that. Bet you don't have too much to say now, huh? Leave me be, damn you. You fucking cowards. Huh? Fucking pussies. Where's Leon Rastovich? F f fuck you. Jesus! You're going around protecting his good name, and he doesn't even tell you where he is? His mother's. He's at his mother's. Little bit pissed. I didn't think of that myself. Ah, Colin O'Fury. This aircraft has actually been designated a smoke-free environment. Colin O'Fury, sir. Son? You just made my day. You always were a goddamn ray of sweetness and light, weren't you, Fury? Check the small print, General. Nothing in there about sucking each other's balls. There isn't any small print. And just what are you aware of, exactly? No, there's a straight deal. No one's more aware of that than I am. Did you know, for instance, that early last year a CIA team approached this son of a bitch with a similar offer? That under circumstances that remain unclear, said team, including a special forces unit seconds from Fort Bragg, was wiped out almost to a man. Fuck with the bull, you get the horns. What? Generals, listen up. I'm only gonna say this once. You boys came to me. That means you want this thing done right, or you just have got some Pentagon dick to run a simulation. Then you could sit back and watch Delta Force get cut to bits on CNN. Once I start work, I don't need your opinions. I don't need your classified reports. 
If I ever need advice on how to fight my way up the president's ass without covering fire, that's when I'll come to you. Until then, shut the fuck up. And believe me when I tell you. This is the only man for the job. Only real problem is the two car loads of fucks. Once the shooting starts, they'll be through the front door like gangbusters. Dozen of them. One of me. Potentially very messy. I could just do the job and run, but that'd leave them free to hire on with some other asshole. Scum like Leon Rastovich are never short of willing talent, which was what saved him last time. Two years ago, I hit a club he owned on Avenue X. Whole thing went like clockwork. Except he turned out to have more bodyguards than I had ammunition. That meant I had to improvise, which gave Rastovich the time to pull a master stroke. He ran like hell and gave himself up to the cops, which got him 30 years to life in the one place I could never reach him. How you get early release for multiple murder and child prostitution like this piece of shit did Friday morning, I can't begin to guess. Leon Babushka, you want more dumpling? Mm? Yes, please, mama. The mother's something else again. Word has it she brought in the kids for Rastovich's operation from an orphanage in Kazakhstan, though the feds can never prove it. At the trial, he rolled over on a lot of business partners. I'm not the only one his boys are here to shield him from. But whatever was dangled in front of him, he wouldn't give up his mama. Leon! Fuck. Leon! Leon! Move, you assholes! Bureau never did make those charges stick had half an idea about giving her the benefit of the doubt. Fuck her! Cock! Suck! Mother! Son of a whore! Fuck it. Come on, come on, come on! Kill the burners, then turn the gas back on, then get the hell out. Oh shit! Jesus, we have really fucked up here. What the hell do we do now? Can anyone smell? Hey. Wasn't enough gas escaped to kill more than a couple, but it ought to keep on burning. Heard them where I wanted them to go. Fuck. Boo! They like to think they're soldiers. But they're whores, selling their youth and strength to monsters. Protecting filth who deal in fear. In poison. In the bodies of innocent children. You work for the devil. You better be ready to die for him. Never enough, is it? What the hell are you doing here? If you're wondering how that prick got early released for murder and child prostitution, the answer is, I got him out. Then I kept tabs on him. I needed to find you fast. It's just me. No SWAT teams. No bullshit of any kind. Wanted to talk a little business. Booker's neat. Club Soda. Nick Fury. Old school cold warrior. The original Black Ops hard case. You believe this no smoking bullshit? In New York City? Jesus fuck. Long before I step off a C-130 at Da Nang, Fury and his team had set fire to half of Asia. Can't say I noticed. No. One job. High risk. Just about impossible. 
You fuck up. No one's ever heard of you. Not in the market. You haven't been for nearly 30 years. That's why I knew I'd have to make this good. Usernames, passwords, DEA, FBI, Customs, INS, the Coast Guard, every major police department on the Eastern Seaboard. Log on anytime you want, and you'll know everything they know. You'll even have satellite surveillance. Every ship back from Maine to Miami will be living his life in your gun sights. Rastovich was one thing. This is a whole other level. Who are you working for, Fury? Army and Air Force. Surprised to hear that, considering S.H.I.E.L.D. was always U.N. backed. These days, U.N. backing gets you used as a goddamn dick wipe. But I do this for those brass hat fucks. I set up this one job. And things get fixed, so I get S.H.I.E.L.D. back for good. Final piece of the puzzle. Whole agency's been a joke for years. They put the fucking accountants in charge. Then they wonder why the CIA beats us to the punch everywhere, from Indonesia to Iraq. Same again. That's why it has to be you. There's no one left who can do the goddamn job anymore. You're doing this for the military. You ought to be spoiled for choices. Fuck. Some of the guys coming up through Delta and the Rangers nowadays, I don't think there's much they wouldn't do. Real stormtrooper shit. So instead, you came to me. You've got your limits, Castle. I'm gonna have one more drink. Then I'm going to try to fuck every hooker in New York before some cocksucker bans that too. Do I take this with me when I go? One question. Shoot. Why don't you do the job yourself? You kidding me? I'm not getting my head blown off on some fucking suicide mission. I have to get S.H.I.E.L.D. back and save the goddamn world. Call me tomorrow at the plaza. Not a lot of point in asking what the job entails. Fury says it's high risk and just about impossible. That's exactly what it'll turn out to be. About the only man on earth whose word I trust that far. Everything set at your end? Everything's ready to go. I pulled them in yesterday. No leaving word for their families. No cell phones. No communicating with the outside world at all. You got seven badass sand niggers just dying to strike a blow for a law. Here's their big chance then. The operation is officially greenlit. General, that is the best news I heard in two and a half years. Not enjoying your time at your spiritual home, Rollins? Fuck my spiritual home. There ain't no liquor. And you can't tell if you got good pussy or not till you get it home and take the goddamn rag off its head. Sooner I'm out of here, the better. You get on a plane the same day they do. Just make sure it isn't the same one. Ha <laughs> ha, fucking ha, dickhead. We're really going to do this then? We just did it. That asshole fury and that fucking animal he's hired are going to succeed whether they like it or not. Five miles over Siberia. American Airlines Flight 2205, from Anchorage to Moscow, makes a minor deviation from its course. They'll be back on track long before the Russian radar gets suspicious. The passengers won't even notice. The pilot just does what he's been told. He doesn't know the reason. Only the crew chief knows we're here. Go! It was the same in Rhode Island, at the Air Force Base. If anyone wondered about their orders, they kept it to themselves. I wasn't asked for ID, wasn't questioned, wasn't even searched. The sergeant on the gate muttered something to his boss about protected by the Lord of Darkness. 
He hadn't been there long, but Fury had the place running just how he liked it. Colonel, there's no smoking and- Fuck off and run the film, sonny. You're going to Russia. Halo, high altitude, low opening. The chute deploys at the last minute, so you'll fall too fast to show on radar. Visual acquisition's next to impossible. You free fall 30,000 feet in a little under two minutes, if the thought of it seems crazy. You weren't crazy enough to begin with. Chechen rebels. Prisoners the Ivans took in 94, then didn't bother to release. Never know when they might come in useful. Okay, here we go. It happens now. That was real time, not a trick shot, not five minutes later. It's what you're going to fetch for us. The Gori Buranga Mountains, northern Siberia, 700 miles inside the Arctic Circle. Over the next ridge is a village by the name of Sudek. On the main street is a bar, the only one in town. Over the ridge after that is a nuclear missile base with 3010 megaton tipped ICBMs in silo, along with something else. 10 miles north of Sudek, on the edge of the Latif Sea, is a prearranged pickup point. Tomorrow night the USS Silverfish will surface and put ashore a SEAL team. We'll either be there or we won't. It's a super virus, some kind of flesh eater. We don't know how it works, or even what to call it. Some bright spark suggested Barbarossa. Evgeny Stankov. He grew it in a lab for the Russian military, but he met a US Air Force general at an arms conference and gave him the tape you just watched. The general, and some others, made Stankov a better offer, including a new life in the States. He shot his assistant, burned everything to do with his work, took the last surviving sample of the virus, and he ran. He also took along his daughter. He almost made it. There was a special ops Blackhawk on its way to pick him up from Seven Raya Zemlaya. It would have flown him out to a survey ship in neutral waters. Except the Russians were a little pissed. The MiGs were up. The Blackhawks at the bottom of the Kara Sea, with its completely deniable Delta Force team all still aboard. This is Galina, Avengi Stankov's daughter. He injected her with Barbarossa just before he died. This was by prior arrangement with the generals. In the event of capture, Galena would carry the virus until the U.S. could get her and Avenyi out. How they would do that, and how Avenyi would stand up to the Russians trying to beat the formula out of him, well, no one really gave that much thought. Which was a shame. Because 10 minutes into his interrogation, he died of a massive heart attack. Why didn't the virus kill the girl? Evgeny shot her full of the antidote. He took the formula for that to his grave, too. But according to what little additional data he put on the tape, the antidote will destroy Barbarossa completely inside the next 48 hours. On the other hand, if someone can get her out before then, we have people who can use a sample of her blood to save the virus. Avengi's tape again. I have a source in Moscow who says she's in a missile silo just south of the Laptev. Makes sense. It's by far the most secure facility in the area Avengi was picked up. There are specialists working on her blood right now, but without the tape data, they're groping in the dark. They might even kill her. The generals don't want the Russians, or anyone else, getting their hands on the virus. That's why they hired me. That's why I hired you. There's a rumor the Russians are our friends these days. Well, there's friends, and there's friends. The old games never change, Castle. You know that. 
Oh, and one other thing. This is Captain Martin Van Hyme. Delta, by way of the 82nd. I don't like it. Neither had Fury when they told him. But the generals had insisted that Van Heim was in, or the whole job was off. He knows Russian computer systems. I don't. If things go bad inside the silo, that might make all the difference. All the same, I've been working on my own for years. And Van Heim bugs me. In my day, the Special Forces boys did their best to keep it low key. They looked like longshoremen or truckers, anything but what they were. This kid's a walking action figure. Greatest ambitions, probably a posthumous bronze star. That's suited. Sir, our man on American 2205 just called in. Says they jumped right on schedule. Good. What was it you were whining about, General? I was saying, Fury, that I regard the briefing you gave this mercenary of yours this morning as nothing short of a critical security breach. He did not need to know the details of Barbarossa in order to retrieve the sample. What we are talking about here is the most dangerous biological agent in the history of germ warfare. Barely two dozen people even know that it exists. Adding to that number renders keeping the damn thing isolated infinitely more difficult. Castle deserves to know the stakes. In return, I can rely on him to not say shit to anyone. And I know what Barbarossa is. The thought of that unholy horror in your sneaky little hands is just the lesser of several evils. Believe me. How dare you! Are you suggesting that senior officers of the United States Army and Air Force would consider using such a- Well, reassure me, General. Don't say sample. Say six-year-old girl. I really hate him. Take it easy, Bobby. He might have told this monster everything. But we didn't tell him everything. He doesn't know about Rollins. He doesn't know the full lowdown on Barbosa either. No. I'll tell you Fury's real problem, boys. He doesn't know his place. We cache the weapons and equipment and make straight for the bar. My Russian's pretty rusty, so Vanheim buys the beers. We haven't been there 10 minutes when we see exactly what we're looking for. From the base, you think? Where else? Vodka, and keep it coming. Don't look up too much. Reservists, probably. Give them a while to get loaded, and when they head for home... They could be here for hours. We've already been noticed. We need to get on with it and get out. Plan B. Start a fight. I'll keep things going while you get those two out the back. Don't get bogged down with the others. I think I can handle Rebel like this. Glad to hear it. One thing. You're supposed to be some y'all fucker off the tundra. It's going to look a little strange if you start using Tai Chi. You spilled my beer, you fat son of a bitch. Who the fuck do you think you Take this asshole apart! Not much room to maneuver in here. Hard to hit the wrong guy, which is what I'm counting on. Just before the whole place goes insane, I catch a glimpse of Vanheim getting started. Not a natural brawler, maybe. But he soon gets into the spirit of things. Pretty soon it's chaos. Take the cops all night to calm this down, which should give us the head start we need. I'll wait till Vanheim makes his move on the soldiers. And I start the strategic withdrawal. Vanheim drags them out the back. I go out the window. We RV then take them back to where we left the gear. 
Then we... <laughs> Fucking cocksucker! Fucking faggot! Fucking pig shit! Get up and fuck with me some more! Head won't clear quick enough. Sounds, sight, thoughts, all coming in shards of glass. Something looks familiar for a moment. Can't remember why. But this guy will have me for breakfast if I don't quit fucking around. Like so. Okay. Swell. These two? Can't risk it. Not your lucky night, boys. But don't take the money if you don't like the job. We find their ID for the base, their swipe cards, and, unexpected bonus here, their car keys. Just for some piece of shit Skoda. But it beats a six mile hike in something under minus 30. The bodies go in a snowdrift outside town. Idea is to get inside the silo before those two are missed, off duty at night on the vodka. Be hours before they're overdue. By the time the cops bust up the fight and someone mentions the out-of-towners who started everything, we should be underground. Security here is a fucking joke. Guy just waved us through. He didn't even look at the ID papers. Lucky for us. This is a nuclear missile base. Don't these people follow any kind of procedure? They mark time till they get posted somewhere else. I doubt one in ten of them could tell you why the base is here. This is Russia, not the USSR. Inner perimeter. This one won't be easy. Oh, sorry friend. For fuck's sake. Hey. You are not- Layouts just like Fury told us. That guy gets amazing intel. That's everything you need to know to break into a nuclear missile base. Except for the next part, where you kill every living thing you find. Allah Akbar, you dumb shits. Enjoy your 21 virgins. Them. On to New York, Newark. Holy fucking Louia. Have a pleasant flight, Mr. Rawlins. Yeah, have a pleasant flight, boys. Give my regards to Moscow. on people? Someone's shooting people, you stupid little bitch. I'm scared. Shut up. Shut up. You stay right there and keep your goddamn mouth shut, or we'll do tests and tests and tests on you for the rest of your fucking life. Galina Stenkov. Don't be afraid. 20 minutes since they entered the silo, sir. If anyone was going to get up at a stress call, we'd have heard something by now. Good. Fury's creature is effective, if nothing else. Let's not forget our own boy. Vanheim's no beginner at this. Yes, but what about Rollins operation? Anything goes wrong there, and... 
Rollins hasn't let us down yet. You know that. One of you boys get us an update there. Gulf South Flight 2 Niner hits Russian airspace in an hour, sir. ETA at Moscow 1335. What did I tell you? Keep up surveillance as long as we got the satellite. Anyone leaves that place or you intercept any pertinent radio traffic, we want to know right away. Let's go see what's for supper. Are you okay? My daddy was mean to me. He stuck a thing in my arm and it really, really hurt. Then these people took him away and they brought me here and they were mean to me too. <laughs> they stuck things in my arms and they took my blood and they kept doing it. They said they had to do tests and I didn't want to. But <laughs> Why is everyone so mean to me? Not feeling good about this. Don't know if my Russian's up to it. And the last kid I spoke to was my daughter. Pushing her guts back into her belly. Telling her she was going to make it. Galina, my name is Frank. If anyone else tries to be mean to you, I'll be much, much meaner to them. I promise. Really? Yes. I've come here to rescue you. There's another man with me. We're going to take you somewhere safe. What do you say? Okay. Okay. Let's get these wires off you. I need you to do something for me. Before we leave this room, I need you to close your eyes and keep them absolutely shut tight. Don't open them until I tell you. Can you do that? Yeah. Yes. You promise? Yes. Once Vanheim hit the comms room, the rest was easy. Better this way. No one left to raise the alarm when we walk out of here with the six-year-old star prize. Good. You got her. Launch center's clear, too. They're meant to check in with command in Moscow on the hour. That still leaves us 42 minutes. Might as well get moving. Might as well. Sunrise in about an hour. By then, we'll be long gone. Lie low all day, then make our way to the Laptiv RV. With the seals, go home. So runs the theory anyhow. Here we go. Galena, get on my back. If anyone's out here, I want you to stay as low as you can. Okay. Fuck! Oh shit. Venheim, get the door. It's too slow. Down. Jesus! They were drinking coffee. In these uniforms, we could have walked right past them. Now we're trapped. And watch your language in front of the kid. The month for Moscow. And about fucking time. Things take time these days, Simeon. You know that. Oh, I know that. But I assume with the world's most lethal biological agent at stake. They might have had someone here just a little sooner. Particularly when it's already been one attempt to steal the damn thing from under our noses. Ours not to reason why, old friend. Oh, God. Come and look at these fat old slug they sent us. Let's see. Oh, my dear God. Hmm? Don't you know who that is? That's Nikolai Alexandrovich Sekarov. That's the man of stone. He looks like he's been eating one or two pies of stone. Please, Simeon, I beg you, 
Do not mouth off to this man. Put your infamous sense of humor on hold. Just this one time. Don't fuck with him in any way. But... This is not a man who responds well to irony, Simeon. Zekarov was in Kabul throughout the 80s. He did things that... Well, suffice to say that if he'd been left to his own devices, we'd still have Afghanistan. It's just that there wouldn't be much of Afghanistan worth having. Oh, shit. He brought a Mongolian. Who? You don't want to know. General Sakharov, I am Holland Lohansky. This is my... German. I know. Where is this stink of girl now? She's in Cecilio. One kilometer from here. The medical team are attempting to retrieve the virus from a bloodstream. You have the report on the helicopter. Was the aircraft identified? The incident occurred at night, sir. Out over the Karasi. The pilot of the MiG simply locked up the target and fired when ordered. He didn't. From the size of the radar contact, could it have been a Black Hawk? He doesn't specify. Wait a minute. You think this was the Americans? But you think it's terrorists like everybody else. Anything else unusual to report? Anything at all? Nothing, sir. All quiet on the ass end of nowhere front. Well... Well... It's... it's just that, uh... We had a report of some trouble in Sudek last night, sir. That's the local township. There was a fight in a bar. Actually, quite a serious one. The police say several men are in the hospital. Once, even in the morgue. A lot of our men drink at this place when they're off duty and... Well, two of them haven't reported in. Sir, this sort of thing is not uncommon. The men aboard, quite frankly, and... They are guarding a nuclear missile silo. If their discipline is a pile of shit, they clearly lack proper command, not excitement. Get me witnesses, survivors of the fight, and find the missing me immediately. General Zakharov, the helicopter was destroyed before the girl was brought here. Since her protection became our responsibility, we have recorded absolutely no serious incident. Sure. Yeah, I can understand if that detail had slipped your mind, General. It's a long, tiring drive from Moscow, and... Sir, there's been an accident at a silo. A firefight. We've taken casualties, sir. Fuck. At least we can see what's coming for us. We can till they shoot the cameras out. Get on the terminal and find everything you can about this place. Look for access points. See if you can find us a way out. What are you going to do? Buy time. Galena, you stay right here till it's time to go. Read that file I gave you. It's full of interesting things. Castle, listen. Wait a minute, is that the file with the go codes? You brought your copy of Cat in the Hat. Feel free. Something you wanted to tell me. You think I panicked up there, don't you? I think that's an old wreck of a T-54 they probably brought in here to work on the engine. They wouldn't have given us a second glance. I want you to know that I can do the job, Castle. I am Delta Force, the best of the best. I have what it takes and I will do what it takes. You have my word. Nothing like that will happen again. Know where the armory is? Uh, yeah. End of the corridor and turn right. Two of them. They're in the silo. They just fucking murdered my crew. Look! Coming up. Spread out, all of you. Check your targets. Cut those pig fuckers in half. Jesus!
Get him for fuck's sake, take him down! No! No, don't let him! Pure overkill. 12.7 millimeter dust guns, just like our 50 cal. Really designed to be used on aircraft. You use it on people. Fucking bastard! My crew! Fucking bastard! You turn them to paint. Colonel Lugansky, they're chewing through our people like a buzzsaw. We're going to need reinforcements fast. No, sir. They've made no attempt to leave the silo. I think we're going to go in after them. Moscow could have spitners in the air inside the hour, sir. And this infantry garrison down the road at Rudosk. Just a minute. I think something's happening. Feed jam. I knew this thing was a wreck. Now! Close in! Suppressing fire! Let's flank this piece of shit! No time to clear it. Over to plan B. All the plastique I could find. Shit! Jesus, fuck! Reinforcements. Colonel, here, now, everyone! The boys from Ritos, Colonel. Two battalions. Fuck, they have a goddamn time about it. Get inside. It's an hour and a half since I made the call. Uh, General Zekarov, sir. The police are downstairs with those witnesses you asked for. Bring them here. We are still worrying about that. We've got a terrorist group holding a silo full of SS ATMs. And all you interested in is some stupid fight in a bar. For Christ's sake, Simeon. Acknowledge his rank. General Zekarov. Or sir. Look. Otherwise, your new name is Corporal Eunuch. They, uh, they fought well, sir. Very dangerous men. They beat ten kinds of shit out of us. What does well mean? Be precise. Hysterical bleating is no use to me. Well, uh, uh, it was a brawl, sir. Not a fancy fight like in a film. But these two men knew just what they were doing. They were so fast, so good. Who started it? They did, sir. The big man did it. Did you see the two soldiers from this base? Just when they walked in, sir. Not after the fight started. Were they Arabs? Afghans, maybe? Oh, no, sir. They were the same as us. Well... Not quite the same as us, but they were white. Huh? Fury, calm down, General. They've detected activity around the silo. I thought you said you could keep NORAD out of this. Well, tell them to go to DEFCON 4 if it makes them feel any better. Castle. If I had to winkle a terrorist unit out of a missile silo, the first thing I'd do would be to take a 10-pound block of TNT and throw it down the elevator shaft. I wouldn't be too concerned about the nukes. Nothing much short of another nuke is going to set them off. I'd follow the TNT with five or six of commandos, none but the best. Spesnaz are SAS, or Delta, with orders to kill everyone they found down there on site. Of course, maybe it wouldn't be as simple as that. 
Maybe there's a six-year-old girl inside the silo with a lethal retrovirus in her veins that I had orders to preserve intact. Maybe I couldn't start throwing charges around for fear of killing her. Maybe there wouldn't be any commandos. Maybe I'd have to make do with what I could get. What's wait? I'm snagged on something. Flashlights. And maybe, just maybe, <laughs> the terrorist waiting down there would be me. What was that? Rig the elevator shaft. Took half an hour even to get that far. They obviously haven't got the guts for this. Can we get out before they find someone who does? Not looking too good here, Castle. Only way out's the elevator, along with a little service shaft running parallel to the main one. No way they won't have that covered. I did have one idea. If we can hold off a couple more assaults, just to make it look good, then rig charges in every room, boom. They come in, they find bodies, and blast damage everywhere. Total and utter destruction. They just don't notice that two of the bodies aren't dead yet. One problem with that. Yeah. Oh, right. Galena leaves with us. Vanheim, it's up to you to find us a way out. But there isn't any. Look harder. Frank? Yes, Galena? Can I go to the room where the refrigerator is and get myself some ice cream? No, you stay here. I'll go and get the ice cream for you. You stay in there no matter what. Total failure, Colonel Lugansky. Sorry. But... I did not tell you to stop, Lieutenant. Sir. Oh, sir. I'm sorry. All I saw was one man, General. A big fellow. Loaded down with weaponry. Once he got the machine gun on the tank going... Race. Sir? White. Black. Arab. Asian. Ah. Very difficult to guess at that range, sir, but... White, if I had to guess. Dismissed. I see the American Syria refuses to lie down and die. General Sakharov. Why do you insist on following this bizarre line of inquiry? And right now, given that they've got the silo and the girl, why does it even matter? Because I failed to see. I know, but it hasn't stopped you making, Colonel. I beg your pardon. I will indulge you only once, Logansky. Why I believe it? Because they're Caucasian. They don't answer our radio calls, not even to make demands. They know we have vocal analysts in Moscow who could place their origins almost to the city block. By now, Al-Qaeda would have detonated the warheads and taken us all to Allah. With no way to get the stink of girl past us, they'd have nothing to gain by stalling. But these are men who want to live. Why it matters? Because it increases the challenge facing us a hundredfold. Americans are the most cunning enemies that our country has ever faced. One thing these men cannot disguise is just how good they are. They will try everything imaginable to get out of the silo and take the virus with them. Sounds like somebody's missing the Cold War. I miss executing people out of hand. Writing reports wastes everybody's time. My comrade will be joining the next assault. Tell the guards, Captain, to expect us. I will need one of his men for a very specific task.
Now! What? No! Gun. Gun! Get the fucking gun, damn you! Oh. Oh my. Fuck, oh. no, please. Get out there quickly. Send two of the others to help me. What the fuck? What is this? I'm telling you, that was someone screaming. Silence! We have taken control of the aircraft. Stay in your seats. We will kill you if you try to interfere. The aircraft is still on course to Moscow. If you are sensible, you will arrive alive at your destination. Stay in your seats and keep quiet. And you have my word that no one will get hurt. Oh, this is bullshit. You all know what this is. You all know what they're gonna do. Come on. We gotta take these bastards. We gotta fucking rush them. Sit down! If you doubt my words, look closely at him. Russian military never was too sentimental about spending lives. All the same, they better lose their stomach for this before I run out of ammunition. Longer we've got stalemate, the more time Vanheim's got to find an exit. Coming down. I'm not too sentimental either. You're next. Go! Captain, it's murder down here. On the fucking rope! Size of a bear, balls of a queer! You three, next! Shit, shit, shit. Can't leave you boys alone for five minutes, can I? Fury! What's all the screaming about? The screaming, Colonel, is about that hired savage of yours starting a major international incident. There's some kind of goddamn firefight going on in the silo at Sunak. We've got radio interceptions with talk of mass casualties. The Russians have special forces in the air, ETA inside the hour. You told us you can get this done, Fury. Do you know what would happen if the Ivans find out that we send men to penetrate their nuclear missile silo? Generals. Act your fucking rank for a minute. The Russians aren't gonna find out shit. Castle and his Delta boot boy of yours know what'll happen if they let themselves be taken alive. They won't. If the worst does happen, there are just two more dead bodies. There's nothing to prove that they're anything other than a couple of mercs, probably out to sell the virus to the highest bidder. But the worst won't happen. Castle will finish the job. He'll figure a way out of the silo, and he'll bring the girl out with him, even if he has to slaughter half the Russian army to do it. You'll get your virus, and the Russians will be none the wiser. Anything else? Or do you think you can manage on your own for a while? This isn't good enough. Thank God for the Rollin' boys. No. No, that... That'll be all Colonel Fury. We'll call you if we need you. Make sure it's important next time. The women I like charge by the hour.
I still can't. You. You little cocksucker. I'll kick your fucking ass. So, uh, excuse me, sir. It's starting. Golf South 2 Nina just dropped to 500 feet. Vnukova ATC has gone frantic. Rollins' team aren't responding to calls, just like he told them. Forty miles to Moscow. Locked on course. It's unmistakable now. Okay, new intercept. The Kremlin's talking to defense command. Sam Battery at Trusk is standing by. Two Niners should start transmitting any moment. Those who make war on Islam will suffer the wrath of Allah. Those who stand with the Great Satan will die with the Great Satan. Word perfect. Boys learned his lines. Now a word from the Russians, you could hear a pin drop on those frequencies. Glory to our brothers in the Jihad against America. Glory to our brothers who even now make war on America's allies. Before this day is out, you will learn, and learn again, the price of friendship with our enemy. Chorsk has locked on. Defense command are screaming at the Kremlin. Allah Akbar! God is great! Sir, the battery commander at Trusk just got the order to fire. Vanheim? Vanheim? Frank? Frank, please. I'm here, Galena. It's going to be all right. Fight his. But I knew that three seconds ago. Seventeen minutes. He'll be done by now. He will? Tell your men they can enter the silo. They'll have nothing to worry about this time. And have the prisoners brought to me immediately. After all these years, the Cold War may yet be turning hot. Sir, the others! I know what happened to the others. But why will this be any different? Because... General Zekarov says so, soldier. The man of stone himself. His word is good enough for me. Oh my god. What is it? Priority fix from Moscow. A Saudi airliner was just shut down on its approach to Vnukova airport. This is a transcript of its last transmission. Listen to this. Glory to our brothers who even now make war on America's allies. Before this day is out, you will learn and learn again the price of friendship with our enemy. Even now, make war. Learn and learn again. It's us. It's what's going on here. It's what they're talking about. 
is some kind of follow-up strike to the thing with the plane. I mean, dear fucking Jesus, these bastards were Al-Qaeda. They were, or they said they were. Oh, fuck me. General, sir, the evidence is right here. Moscow believes it, or they wouldn't have sent this through. Moscow is full of mental pygmies. The same kind they sent to run their missile silos. As opposed to what? Some burnt out jokes if it are put to grass in 1989. Semyon! Oh no, Grigory. This legend of yours is now going to tell us how a gang of suicidal Arabs are actually Americans in disguise. A disguise they were so committed to, by the way, that they plainly thought, well, it wouldn't be too convincing if we didn't kill ourselves, would it? I mean, you've really got to hand it to them. That's what I call method fucking acting. What I am going to tell you is this. For 70 years we struggled to convince the world that communism was its only chance. The Americans chose a different route. They bombed whole countries flat, then built McDonald's restaurants in the places that were left. They won. They are a clever and tenacious people. They are also enormously imaginative. If you cannot believe they would go to such lengths to throw us off the scent, you are no better than that goat herder choking on a quarter pounder. The prisoners will be with us shortly. Then, we'll see. I try. And I try. And I try. But I just can't get up. Don't think I've been hit harder than this in my whole life. Far, far away, I hear a little girl's voice. I know that should mean something. Am I supposed to help her? Or is it that I already failed? <laughs> Please, they're, they're going to do more tests on me. They're going to really, really hurt me. I don't want- <coughs> Is it... that I... already... failed? I'm twisting his leg off like a drumstick when I realize I'm frightening the kid. Galena. I promised. Frank! Right. Frank. Right. Alright. I told you so. I fucking told you so. We did it, boys. We hit it right out of the park. We... What the fuck did you assholes just do? Is he alright? He's alive. There's more men coming. You don't need to worry about them. Do you want me to help? 
Galena, put that down. Right now. Oh, oh, okay. You never play with guns, Galena. What do you never do? Play with guns. That's right. These bags have our parachutes and coats packed inside. They're good and thick. They'll protect you if there's any shooting inside this room. Okay. You're gonna hear some very loud noises now, Galena. I want you to lie on the floor, cover your ears, and keep your mouth open. That way the noise won't hurt you. I'll be back in a minute. I thought they were subdued already. Just in case. Mister? Jesus! Move, damn you! Zakharov! Zakharov, you prick! You told us he was... Are you okay? Fuck. Oh, fuck. Game over. <sighs> Sorry, kid. Never mind how I knew it was you. But just tell me what you thought you were doing. Colonel Fury, that side of the operation's none of yours. You finish that line of shit and I'll blow a 45 round through the side of your goddamn head. You, talk to me. Well, we felt... <clears throat> we were concerned that the precautions you'd taken, uh, against the Russians becoming aware of the U.S. involvement in operations, we were, well, were insufficient, quite frankly. We thought that if we could arrange an apparent terrorist strike on Moscow while your team was inside the silo, it would quite neatly deflect Russian suspicion away from us. After 9-11, we got the idea of covertly raising and funding an extremist Muslim group for eventualities like this one. Our own Arab terrorists, essentially. A completely deniable means of taking out targets inside friendly countries. We had a deep cover operative already on the ground in Saudi. He handled the recruitment side of things. After that, it was simply a matter of choosing the most appropriate commercial flight. And which one of you stupid pieces of shit came up with this master plan exactly? Her. Now, Colonel, you have to understand that the stakes were simply too high for us to consider any other alternative. I mean, we knew there was no chance of the plane doing any damage. The Moscow missile defenses are notorious. Our B-52 pilots used to live in terror of them. Um, Colonel Fury? Motherfucker! Ah! You motherfucker! You cocksucker! You inhuman, godless little fuck! Ah! Ah! Colonel Fury, for God's sake! Call the MPS, now! Stop! Please! Help! Touch that phone in your next pissant. You callous fucking maggots! What about the people on the plane? What the fuck have you made me a part of? This brainwave of yours. You really think the Russians won't see through it? You think they're all such fucking morons? Not a single one of them will realize something stinks? You piss them off this much, and there's no telling what they'll do. Right now, the whole country's shitting itself. One more shove in the wrong direction, and they won't give a fuck what they can prove or not. You better pray Castle gets out of that silo soon, you assholes. Because I'm all out of ideas. What are you doing? Uh... What are you doing? Look, w wait a minute, okay? Castle. Castle, back off. I mean it. 
Don't make me fuck you up. Tell me. Ugh, secondary protocol. Kill the kid and bring her blood out. We're running out of time. The antidote in her system's destroying the Barbosa virus. Pretty soon, it'll be lost for good. The yellow shit's some sort of stabilizer. It stops the antidote from breaking down the virus but it has some secondary effect of killing her. If things got bad, I was supposed to inject her with the stabilizer and then take a sample of her blood. Easier for one of us to get out with a hypo in his pocket than two of us with a little girl. That's why I thought blowing the place to hell and playing dead would work best for us. Fury. He doesn't know. The order came from the generals who brought him in. They knew he'd never go for it. It's why they insisted on me coming along. Don't look at me like that. I'm a soldier. I'm meant to follow orders. I couldn't see any way out of here. I was sure they were about to take us down. I still don't see that we have any other choice. Delta Force. Best of the best. You'll do what it takes to get the job done. Oh, fuck you, Castle. I need to know if it's true. Yeah. Yeah, it is. You're goddamn right it is. Why? You went through their computer here. You hid it all to yourself for hours. I told you. There's no other way out listed. You know the system is the point. Yeah, I mean, it's a joke. It's almost totally obsolete. If you can use an iPod, you're overqualified for this thing. Go Codes. You got 30 SS. 18's in silo. Get on a terminal and change the targets to major cities in Russia. Then fire the nukes for launch. What? No American has the guts for nuclear war. They have the ego for nuclear confrontation, yes? They will fry a hundred thousand Japanese, so long as there is no question of retaliation. But outright war is a step too far for them. That is why we have nothing to fear today. I'm glad to hear it. I was a little concerned when your infallible super hobbit fucked things up and left the terrorists still in control of the silo. That is not what they are. They are Americans. They have gone to insane lengths to convince us otherwise, but that is what they are. Detonating the warheads would almost certainly mean a confrontation between this country and the USA. That is something they simply will not risk. Sir! And you are truly convinced of this? God damn right they know now. They're screaming rape from midst of fucking Moscow as of about 10 seconds ago. I thought I told you to watch your language. St. Petersburg, Vorkota, Volgorod. I don't know how they're doing this. Auto fueling has commenced. After that, they're three minutes away from launch. Christ, they can go wherever they want. Ready when you are. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's from them!
you will put all your forces back beyond the base perimeter. You will guarantee our safe passage from the silo entrance to the gory Boranga Mountains. No attempt is to be made to follow us. No surveillance of any kind will be permitted. There will be no further communication from this source. No negotiations will be entered into if you do not immediately and unconditionally agree to these terms. I will burn Russia and its people from the face of the earth. This is your fault. You sent that fucking maniac in there. He's targeted every city in Russia. He's going to start the Third World War. What the fuck is wrong with you, Fury? What kind of demented asshole puts the Punisher in the missile silo? All of you shut the fuck up. Right. No one's rebooting anything here. Galena, all you have to do now is hold on tight to me. Do you think you can do that? Yes. What's the timing on this? We've got ten minutes to get over there. Two minutes after that, well... Program's set and locked now. Castle, I hope to God you know what you're doing. I'm doing the one thing no one's tried yet. I'm gambling the Russians aren't stupid. Fueling complete. All warheads activated. I... I think they're actually going to do this. General Zekarov, it's Moscow. They want an immediate status report. Tell them to stand by. Stand by? I am in command here, Colonel Lugansky. The next time I tell you so will be at gunpoint. For Christ's sake, what will it take before sanity prevails? What will it take to make you act? Contact the terrorists. Agree to their demands. If only temporarily. Do it now, before everything we care about is lost. Oh no. Oh God. This is it. Final launch sequence is go! We, we can't get into the system! There's nothing we can do! Primary ignition any time now! Launch altitude achieved! Main engine ignition in 5 seconds! 4, 3, 2, 1! What's the target? It's inbound on Moscow! No matter saying- Tell those pussies to hold their nerve! Castle, you crazy son of a bitch! General Zekarov, it's Moscow again. They know it's coming, sir. General Sekarov? Tell them they need take no action. The situation is under control. Tell them Nikolai Alexandrovich Zakarov gives them his word. What in the name of God are you doing? The Americans will not begin a nuclear war. Um... Uh, um... They are Americans. But if I tell Moscow that, the fools will put an end to the world. So we do nothing. 
No. They are our terrorists. That missile is on its way to obliterate our nation's capital. General Sakharov, your delusions have gone far enough. For the sake of our motherland, I am hereby relieving you of command. Give me that fucking phone. Semyon! Anything to say? Sir. Sir, the missile's engine has cut out. It made 8,000 feet and it... Jesus Christ, the warhead's deactivated. How? The weapon does whatever it was programmed to do. Pre-flight. It's just a harmless steel tube now. It'll come down about ten miles from here. Sir, what the hell is going on? Our opponent is a man of extremes. But he is not the type to murder millions. No more than I am in the end. If the thought of it seems crazy, you weren't crazy enough to begin with. It's down. It's probably sitting in a snowdrift somewhere. Holy dear Lord God above us all. Major Yerman, you will probably want to inform Moscow. Of course, General. And organize a search. 20 mile radius. Paying special attention to the coast. Probably a waste of time with the blizzard the way it is. But if they've done what I think they've done... General Zekarov, sir, you were right. You were right about everything, all along. In every detail but one. That was no American. It was a Russian who was born there by mistake. <laughs> Castle. Thought you weren't going to make it. Slipstream tore my pack off. Weapon too. I can't believe how cold it is. B-20 by nightfall. Seal pickups 10 miles that way. You lost your backpack. We've only one coat between us. Castle will be dead in less than 10 minutes without warm clothing. Uh, what are you doing? You draw the long one. You take Alina and go all out for the coast. Don't look back. You're not serious. Whatever it takes to get the job done, Vanheim. Maybe now you know what that means. Castle. Fury. And I guess this would be Galena. 
What? Sir, the Soulfish Commander decided to defer to a higher authority. He said it wasn't a naval operation, strictly speaking. Fury, you cocksucker! Do you know what this lunatic son of a bitch did? The SEALs got them aboard the sub, and he wouldn't let anyone near the girl. We had specialist medics ready to take blood samples, and he wouldn't fucking let them stick her. He stood over her the whole fucking way to Alaska. Which means the antidote killed the virus in her system two days ago. Which means this whole operation was a waste of fucking time. True. Promise I wouldn't let anyone hurt her. That sounds fair enough to me. Win some, lose some, General. Lieutenant. Sir? Escort Colonel Fury off the base. Clap this other piece of shit in irons. And take the girl to the sick bay immediately. There may be residuals in her system. We could still say Barbosa yet. That isn't going to work. Huh. You men. Now, uh, we don't want to have to do this the hard way. Just a minute, Lieutenant. Anytime you like. General? I'll send every one of you faggots to fucking rot in Iraq. That is fine by us, General. I think one of the Ivans figured out who we were. I was even kind of counting on it towards the end. So long as they haven't got proof, I couldn't care less. And them? I'm on scarier list than theirs, Castle. It doesn't seem to bother you the virus being destroyed. Matter of fact, a suspicious man might think you set the whole thing up. Just to pull Galena out of that hole. I could see how you might think that, seeing as I sent the one man who can get in and out of the place, but who wouldn't dream of killing a kid. Would have gone in myself, but I needed to keep an eye on the generals. Not that I did a very good job of it. None of this would have happened without their resources. Which reminds me, they'll have had all those passwords I promised you changed, so nobody wins today. Chalk it up to experience, I guess. Galena, this man's going to take you to people who will look after you. He'll make sure that nothing bad happens to you. No! Why, Frank, why? Don't leave me, please. Please don't. I want you to look after me, Frank. I want it to be you. I can't, Galena. I can't look after anyone. What do you never do, Galena? <laughs> Play with the gun. Good girl. The generals crawl back into their holes, intent on burying Barbarossa in the deepest, darkest eyes the only file they've got. Don't know if they'll be pissed enough to ever come and fuck with me. The Russian government keeps the silo business under wraps, which isn't difficult once the screaming starts about the airliner. All the same, someone figured out we weren't Al-Qaeda, someone who might come looking for me, someday. I'm going through the stuff I carried out of Sudak when something heavy hits the floor. Must have stuffed it in my coat after I killed the big guy in the bar. I sleep for three days straight, and then I take a walk through Brighton Beach. All fucked. All finished. Nothing left in Russia now. Crazy Arab motherfuckers try to crash plane into Moscow. 
Go ahead, comrade. Put place out of fucking misery, huh? Vodka is peace now. All good vodka gone. Never to be seen again. Oh, Jesus. I haven't touched a hair on his head. That's not why I'm here. Crash plane into shitty bar for all I... Hey! Return of the good vodka. Pour away, shitty bar, man. Pour away. Maybe all is not lost yet, eh? Maybe there is hope for motherland after all.